Hey, hey, Pisces, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 2024 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Pisces, I am getting a message here, even though it's not showing up in the cards yet. I'm getting a message of a broken engagement or a broken commitment in some way, shape, or form due to potential addictions or emotional blocks. So let's see what's coming in. That one's quite heavy. But I feel like you are releasing that or it has been something that you've gained a lot of introspection on. And that could be a past situation that's occurred. And perhaps the reason why it's coming up is because there is a new opening, a new opening to a new phase of your life, a new relationship, or this is taking an existing one to the next level, but it is going to require an opening of the heart. I am getting Knight of Cups energy, Knight of Cups. There could be a love offer coming your way. We have the Queen of Cups. We'll take that. That's your energy. Uh, love call is at the bottom of the deck. There could be a message of love coming in. I'm also getting an apology. There may even be an apology for some words that were said or a misunderstanding is what I'm picking up on here. This could be a family member, a friend, a lover. Take it as it resonates, but we see love smack dab in the middle of your reading. And I feel, Pisces, you are someone who you have such a big heart. You want to nurture and take care of others, but I also feel like you're not going to put up with crap right? Page of Swords here. If someone is crossing a boundary, you're just not going to, you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to continue having this play out. It really does upset you. Now you have the hand showing up. So I feel for some of you, there may have been some big lessons around boundaries, okay? Because there may have been a block that was thrown up where someone was avoiding a difficult conversation. They may not have been dealing with a dynamic, something underlying, which may have even been an addiction. Now it may not be, you know, substances or drugs, but it could be addictions to other things, maybe social media or gaming or shopping or, you know, even seeking external validation in some way, shape or form. I just feel like there's some sort of energy that was heavily re relied upon and it affected the dynamic of a relationship. Now, if that's in the past, that's great. That's in the past. But for some of you, you are still upset on maybe someone's actions or how something went down. There could even be some words, some harsh words that have been spoken or you may be feeling some bitterness, some rage, some resentment, or some of you may be dealing with an individual who has said some harsh words and it still weighs heavy on your heart. But I do see you moving to a better place because you have been working on yourself. Yeah, you've been working on yourself. You've been reflecting with the mirror here. And I feel like you've been focusing on perhaps your career or your craft, your hobby. For those of you that are in a dynamic currently, I feel like you are the glue. You may feel like you're the one keeping everything together in some way, shape or form. But what I see coming up in the future for you is there's a judgment call. You have a new path. You have a new path coming in. And I feel like this path is less challenging than maybe the existing one that you've been on. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. This is about you cutting ties, potentially moving on, moving on from the past. The Eight of Cups is my Eat, Pray, Love card, and it's about the quest, a spiritual quest for something deeper, more meaningful. You see that Dorothy there is still in Kansas, and it's black and white. She's dreaming of rainbows. She's dreaming of color. So I feel for some of you, on a deep soul level, you want to grow. You want to feel connected. You want a new path, right? You're on this quest for deeper spiritual connections and relationships. And I just feel where you're at now, it feels like it feels like you're you're heading in that direction, but you haven't 
quite arrived yet. And maybe that's why we see the judgment showing up in the near future. So let's dive in here. You do have not today. It almost feels like you're putting up a hand and saying, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with this again. Or some of you are just, you've thrown up a block, you've thrown up a wall, and it it's rightly so because you may have been dealing with someone who is draining your energy, very toxic, uh, very addictive, or just, you know, harsh words. I am getting uh, abuse through words, okay? So this could be emotional abuse. Someone may still be very upset or you may be blocking someone. I just feel like there is an energy here of, I just don't want to deal with that. I've tried too many times without resolution. Therefore, I see someone going deep within with the mirror. This is about reflection, self-reflection, introspection, healing the inner wounds, gaining knowledge by, you know, looking at choices that you've made and how they've affected the situation and choices others have made and how you've responded. I am getting hermit energy as well. So some of you may have even went through a bit of a hermiting period to heal, to evolve and to really grow and disconnect from the energy a bit to see what you needed to do to, to rectify the situation. It feels like you may have been stuck in something, but you needed a little bit of time and space to really decide what you wanted. And that may have been through maybe getting away for a bit. You have the partying card. Now this could be that addiction that I was picking up on, but for others of you, it may be just letting your hair down, having some fun, spending time with friends. Some of you are happily single, okay? You're finally coming out of you know, out of the closet, so to speak, where you have been doing that, that introspection and now you may be ready to put yourself out there, but you had to take time for you, time to heal, time to maybe rebuild, work on your finances, take care of your family, whatever it was or is that you're still doing. I feel like you're slowly stepping out into more of an adventurous, I'm getting like risk, risk taking. So some of you may be taking some risks, but I feel like it's a risk on the heart. It's a, it's a risk that requires vulnerability, right? Anytime we put ourselves out there to potentially fall in love or to meet someone new or to connect even with, with new friendships, it does require a risk to open up, to be vulnerable. And I feel like you're stepping into that. You still have a little bit of a foot in the, the past. You're not going to step into it completely blinded like the fool, right? I feel like you, you've you gained knowledge. You're stepping into it with newfound wisdom that the hermit energy gave you. Now, we do see the teddy bear. Now, I do feel like there's someone interested in you. You may be interested in someone else. There could be a blooming romance coming in here for you. This could be a second chance. Now, because we have the judgment card, this certainly could be a second chance with an existing partnership or a second chance to just open your heart up again after a period of reflection. Someone may be flirting with you. You may be flirting with them. I see someone has a smile that lifts up a little bit in the corner, so it almost looks like a little bit of a smirk. It feels like it's not a full-on grin, but someone has a little bit of a smile that kind of goes up in the corner. I know that's strange, but it, it feels like it's it's something that you may admire. Maybe that's you and they admire that about you, some sort of smirk, but I feel it's more flirty. There definitely is a dating energy coming in here. And with you showing up right away or this Queen of Cups showing up right away, someone is opening their heart up to this teddy bear energy. I'm liking this for you. Fairy lights could be significant. Lighting could be significant. You may go to a dinner or go to, you know, a place that has a special type of ambiance that has, you know, romantic lighting is what I'm getting here. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the love call. Now, there's going to be someone that that lets you know that they're digging you, that they're into you, Pisces. And I do want to say I'm getting a couple of energies here for, for some of you, for one group of Pisces. This is going to be from someone of the past that was a little bit snakish. Okay, you have the snake also showing up at the bottom of the deck. But if that's the case for some of you, 
It also could be you have the sunglasses right behind it. This could be someone that's been watching you, watching or stalking your social media. This is about, you know, someone wanting to keep tabs, see what you're up to. But I feel like that's where you have this hand up and you're like, no, uh, not today. Or maybe it's something you don't know about. Or if they do try to reach you, you may already have them blocked. And I just feel like if they are not meant to come into your life here, I feel like, or if it's not part of your contract, I just feel like the universe is, is going to help you not receive this message in some way, shape, or form because you're meant to move on. You're meant to open up to maybe a new love union or you're meant to heal from them entirely. And for others of you, I mean, if you are wanting new love, I definitely see that block coming up. But for some reason, the snake and the sunglasses, I feel like you could hear news potentially from someone in the past or you could see something on maybe their social media or through a friend, through a family member, through a joint, um, I'm getting like joint person, someone that you both know. You could hear some news about an individual and it may be sad is what I'm getting as well. It may be sad. You may find out that, you know, someone... Um, you know, there's been an ending or someone lost a job or I just feel like it could bring sad news of some sort. And maybe that's why there's this, this call or maybe you think about reaching out. Okay, let's move on from the past. For those of you that want the past, you can take it as it resonates. But I feel for the majority of you, you're putting a hand up. You're saying, no, nope, on with the new. Let's get to this love call. Let's get to this teddy bear. You're opening up. You are being informed as well. Getting to know each other is what I'm seeing. Okay, yeah, getting to know each other. Information coming through. Now, starting off, Pisces, you have the Queen of Cups. This is your energy of, you know, you are someone who fosters genuine connections, meaning you, you love big and you love to celebrate others. You love to be celebrated yourself. You may be big into, you know, birthdays or holidays or gatherings. I feel like you are a big nurturer. You're highly, highly intuitive. And this queen of cups is showing up here and she's empathic. She's a healer. She is someone who is very compassionate. So no wonder you have this energy that's drawn to you. Even some energies that you may not want to be drawn to you, they are. Because you exude this beauty, the glass cat showing up. And the glass cat, she's independent, right? She's independent, but she also holds up a mirror in a sense to others. And that may be why the mirror is showing up for you as well with this glass cat. Some of you were mirroring another person. You were bouncing off of each other's energies. You weren't talking to someone. They weren't talking to you. Uh, someone reached out. You responded. I feel like there was a little bit of a, you know, a mirrored energy with the Queen of Cups. But during this, you've learned a lot about yourself. And you don't want to get broken, right? You don't want your beautiful heart to be broken. And it's going to take a lot for you to connect with someone uh, because you want it all, right? And what I mean by that is not saying you have these standards that are just through the roof and you're never going to find anyone. It means that you want, you know, the intellectual stimulation. You want the spiritual. You want someone honest and loyal. And you're just, you're not going to settle is what I'm getting because you may have settled in the past or you may have enabled an energy in the past to continue maybe taking advantage in some way, shape, or form. And it just, it feels like it shattered you in some way and you had to pick up the pieces again. And with this Queen of Cups, I feel like you are staying centered, right? You're staying centered, focusing on filling your cup. And I feel like you're, you're also creating healthy emotional boundaries. That's what I see here right away. Healthy emotional boundaries. So if you're in a relationship, I feel like this is good for you to know where you end and the other person begins. And when it comes to something new, uh, I feel like you're being very well transparent. You're, you're being very transparent with the glass energy. You're letting someone know who you are, you know, what you, what you need, what you're looking for. And I feel like you're not sugarcoating things. You're very honest, which is beautiful. Now, the challenge or the obstacle, Page of Swords, 
Page of Swords is intellectual curiosity. Okay, it is being curious about something, but sometimes, now this is interesting, curiosity killed the cat. And we see the cat right here. So if you are curious about something that's no good for you, cut that out, Pisces, right? Because the page of swords showing up here, crossing the cat is saying, sometimes those curiosities are gonna get you in trouble, okay? If this is something that you're trying to dig up, okay? Perhaps you are in a relationship where, you don't have trust, right? There's no trust and you're going to go dig in and you know that something's off. You're most likely going to find something, okay? If you're looking, if you're searching for that because your intuition is telling you, I feel like it's that's the answer that you need. And for others of you, if this is a situation where maybe you're not with someone or perhaps you're, you know, it almost feels like someone could be dipping their toes where they don't need to because it's not going to be beneficial to them. Maybe this is someone else, right? Someone else could be, you know, spying or, you know, gossiping or talking. And I just feel like the best thing for you is to draw that line in the sand and set that emotional boundary. And that's what we see coming in here for you. I also see someone trying to come towards you and offer you their energy, but they're a page and you're a queen and this person's very immature. They may say things to try to manipulate or charm, but I feel like it's not working with you anymore because you've grown, you've ascended. And clearly these two energies are not on the same, quite literally, page, right? They're not on the same page anymore. And I just feel like there's someone that is trying to get in, but you have this glass, you have this glass ceiling up here in some way, shape or form. And it's like you're looking down and this page of swords as the, the griffin is kind of pecking away at this glass. And you're like, my glass isn't going to break. I put this together strong and firm this time around. And so just be mindful of people trying to penetrate your energy or you, you know, being curious about the wrong things, okay? Now, what's below you here, Pisces, is the Four of Pentacles. Should I stay or should I leave now, right? Isn't that a song? Should I stay or should I leave or go? Uh, it's hanging on versus letting go. Do I hang on to this relationship because we built a life together? We have stuff together. The Four of Pentacles is represented by the Wicked Witch's possessions. So it almost feels like there could be a possessive energy, possessive behaviors. Some of you, there was a withholding of affection in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, someone withheld affection, maybe withheld intimacy, withheld love. I almost get using intimacy as a weapon. I don't love that right? I don't love that because it's a form of manipulation and abuse. But I also see someone staying in a situation because it was easier to stay than maybe leave because assets, because of children, because of finances. But I am getting here a new choice being made. In the recent past, we have the chariot, Cancer. Cancerian energy, this may have shifted for you around Cancer season. June or July could have been an emotional roller coaster is what I'm hearing. Some of you, there was a little bit of lack of direction. Should I go? I'm going to go. Nope, I'm going to come back. Uh, do I want this person in my life? Yeah, but no, not today, right? It just feels like there is a lot of back and forth. It feels like one day you're open uh, or one day you, this person that you may have been dealing with or just the energies all together, it just feels like it was a little bit of a roller coaster ride. But I do see with the chariot, now you have now you have a direction that feels more clear that feels more precise with the chariot in the upright here and it feels more victorious and this is control right self control and i feel like you're back on track here to a goal that you've had for yourself or for a relationship and it does feel like there's more drive there's more motivation here that feels stable instead of feeling wobbly. It feels like, you know, if you've ever driven down the road with a, a tire, flat tire, and the, you know, car's going all wobbly. I mean, I've never done that. I've had low tire pressure, but never a full-on flat tire. But I can only imagine your car's gonna, you know, thumpity, thumpity, thump, and it can veer you in different directions. That's kind of what this chariot feels like in the reverse. 
where you're going along and it's a big old thump and it's kind of pulling you in all different directions and different lanes and it could be very disastrous, right? You could veer into oncoming traffic and it just feels like you had to pull over and maybe that's that hermit energy that I was picking up. It's like you had to pull over and you had to reevaluate and say, what am I doing? Right? Is this where I want to be? How do I fix this? Do I, do I put on a spare for now? Or do I completely, you know, change this tire out? And it feels like that was part of the process. And I hope you're following along. This isn't an actual tire. This is a relationship or some sort of healing. But I do feel like you now have all four like brand new tires is what I'm getting. And it's, it's as if you had to check out the other tires to make sure, but you just decided to replace them all because it was like, even if you replace this one area, the other one would compensate. So I feel like some of you, no matter what you tried to fix, it's as if it would just allude to another problem or it would just kind of, you know, hit the back tire, hit this tire, and it just still feels like it was off balance or off kilter. But I see forward momentum here. And I see someone really willing to put in the work. Okay, Eight of Pentacles coming in above you. This is work. I mean, it's perfection, mastering something. But be mindful of perfectionism because sometimes this even can be some sort of expectation. And I, I feel like you are good with that. It's about not, you know, there's a difference, a line between settling and, you know, just saying yes to the next thing that comes along. But I feel like some of you, you, you may be getting into a little bit of a routine or a structure and it's going to be a little bit hard to break out of that. So if you're single and you've been enjoying being single, I feel like it's going to be beneficial for you to stay flexible, but yet adapting to maybe some new things that come your way. I also see with this eight of pentacles, you've gained a lot of knowledge and you're going to put that knowledge to use. It's going to help you in a relationship. It's going to help you create boundaries. It's going to help you be more independent. And you have learned such valuable lessons is what I'm getting here, Pisces. Eight of Pentacles, you've gone through it. And some of you may even be taking some classes on like psychology, or you could be reading books around, you know, relationships, or perhaps it's a fiction novel that inspires you. I just feel like you are putting some work into yourself or a relationship or how to heal, how to, how to change a tire, basically. That's what this reading is about, is how, how do we change this tire and what do we need to do to get it all, you know, get it all balanced out here. And that's what you're learning and you have learned. Some of you are like, Mel, I know how to do that in my relationships. So because you've been put through the ringer, here we come up against the Jabberwocky in the near future. This is the judgment call. You see that big old dragon and you see Alice coming face to face with it. The judgment is a powerful card of spiritual rebirth. It is basically, you know, enlightenment and enlightenment because we, we've we gone through the trials and tribulations and there's a, a passage. This is a passage. This is a rebirth. It's a second chance because you now are aware. And I feel like now that you've hit this point, there's no going back, right? You're not going to go back to that vehicle and stick on the tire that has a big old hole in it, right? Or a big old, it's flat. And you're not going to put that back on the car and start driving away wobbly with that same tire. You will never do that again. You're going to throw that tire out, right? Or get it patched or get it fixed. But I feel like you're never going to go back to that flat tire in that same energy again. It doesn't mean that, you know, down the road, things can't happen. But right now, I just feel like you're, you face this judgment day and I feel like there's a call. There's a call and you actually have the call at the bottom of the deck. There's going to be some sort of love call, expression, message, you know, news, information. This could be quite informative as well. And maybe it's someone else making a call for you. This could be a divine call. But basically it's about letting go of the past. Some of you may have been dealing with a past life soulmate and you were unable to let something go. You may have even judged yourself, judged this person, judged the situation. And I do feel like 
there is a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear that kept you from making this call. I mean, who wouldn't be fearful looking at that Jabberwocky, right? Looking at that big old dragon breathing fire rainbows. But I feel ultimately that you are facing your fears and you see that there's a little portal, a circular portal here. And I feel like the circular portal is the world, right? The world comes right after the judgment. You are at the end of a major journey and there is a, a new path ahead for you. This is big, Pisces. This is big. How are you feeling? Oh, yeah, you have the three of wands in reverse. You want to manifest, but you don't want to manifest the wrong thing. Therefore, you're feeling a bit overwhelmed and feeling a bit hesitant. I mean, that's natural. Pat yourself on the back for how far you've come. But know, know this, that you are one step away from success, right? Or from love or from, you know, bettering your life, bettering a circumstance or a situation. You're one move away. That's it. That's it. It's not like it's, and, and quite literally, the judgment is one move away from the world as well. Judgment is card 20. World is 21. And the three of wands, Alice is in Chess Valley here, right? So it, it's as if, you know, one move away is going to put you to that judgment, but you may be a little nervous. Like, what if it's not what I thought? Or what if it's not what I expected? Or what if, what if, what if, what if, right? We get caught up in that what if game. There's a song, I believe, is it Kane Brown? What if? What if you allow yourself to face some sort of fear and fully embrace this, this new journey, this new path? Because you could be manifesting the best thing ever, right? This can also be courage and exploration. Now, there's a difference between exploring, you know, exploring your curiosities that feel good and feel vibrant and feel lively. And then there's a difference between, you know, whatever this page of swords is where it's a curiosity that causes you to backtrack. Okay, just be mindful of that. We don't want to explore somewhere we've already been. Or we don't want to go down a path because it feels familiar. I feel like you're asked to take a path that you haven't taken before. And what do we have showing up in the environment? We have the Eight of Wands. So you have the two fastest moving energies. Well, three actually. I mean, you do have the Page. Page of Swords, even though it's not action oriented, the Page of Swords can quickly think, quickly say things. There could be an incoming message. I do feel like there's going to be communication of some sort that's going to alter and shift everything, but it, it also depends on how you respond. Now, the Eight of Wands could be travel, someone coming in at a distance, you going out at a distance, incoming news uh, quickly. It comes in, it shifts everything. If this is a new love or a new interest or a new blooming friendship, this could be, you know, text messages coming in, uh, FaceTime. I feel like someone wants to come see you. Someone wants to travel. You see the looking glass railway here with the eight of wands. And this could even be relocating, moving, communicating progress. But I see here that this is the green light. This is the green light saying you have realigned. That's why you have the judgment card because you're realigning your energy. So whatever choice and decision you make from here on out, you're exactly where you're meant to be. So trust that you are being led towards your highest good. And I do see a lot of movement. Someone's traveling far. Someone's moving. Someone's coming to be near you. I feel like someone is trying to reach out. Someone wants you to know that you mean a lot to them. Okay, you mean a lot to them. And they don't want to be apart from you. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to have the same type of relationship that they've had in the past, either with you or someone else. Now, 10 of wands is in the hopes and fears. The hopes are that you can have a new beginning, right? The hopes are that you don't feel burdened by the past. You don't want to take on too much. And the fear is that you've put all this work in for what, right? For what? Valid. Valid hope and fear, but also illusion, right? It's it's a, a valid to have the emotions that stem around some things, but try not to let fear, which we can certainly face some fear. I mean, like I said, when you have that judgment, this is you facing some sort of fears head on. But when you do, 
it almost le is like you become friends with the dragon. Uh, the dragon is here to coach you, to guide you, to heal you, to help you move forward and to help you embark upon this new path, this new beginning. You're not here to fix anyone, Pisces. You're not here to carry someone else's burden. And if you feel like you owe it, if you feel indebted to someone in some way, shape or form, that may be what you are meant to release. Maybe you feel like, well, I've done, you know, this person has done so much for me. Um, then now I should do it for them. Or perhaps I have to do this. This is my own mother or child. You know, it just feels like there's a, a debt that needs to be paid that you feel like it needs to be paid or it's owed. But spirit is saying, let that go. This is a, this is not necessarily your responsibility. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And sometimes when we carry someone else's burden, we actually enable the behavior and we can prolong both our progress, our progression and theirs. Okay. So if you have these burdens, I feel like work, do the work, which I see you doing, do the work on releasing, you know, carry, you've carried something, carry it to the finish line of what you need to wrap up here and then release because your outcome is the five of wands, but it's in reverse, which is good. Five of wands in reverse is avoiding drama. It's unnecessary conflict. Like we don't need this. Not my monkeys, not my circus. Five of wands is represented by the croquet, playing croquet with the queen. And I do feel like there's been obstacles. There's been ob um, competition, other people involved, maybe competition or, or adversity. And I just feel with this five of wands showing up here, it is about you changing or shifting the path to avoid what could be, you know, a, a very high level struggle or, you know, it could be a path. It almost feels like the path of least resistance. There we go. That's your outcome. You have an outcome here that is the path of least resistance. And what that means is something has been very resisting or there's been change that's been here, but someone's been resisting change. It's been challenging or difficult. And I feel like spirit is saying you've come to this pivotal point in the journey of your heart or relationship where you don't have to be stuck in this, you know, competition, adversity, drama, whatever, whatever BS this was, maybe there was just too many cooks in the kitchen. And I feel like you are embracing a new pack. And this also reminds me of birds of a feather, right? You see all the feathers flock in there, birds of a feather flock together. So for some of you, you're joining, you know, a tribe or a new tribe or you're really strengthening existing bonds. This feels very familiar, very family-like at the same time. So you could be exiting out of certain contracts or you could be freeing yourself from situations that just, you know, drain your energy. I'm gonna get one final card here for that Five of Wands. Spirit, can we get one, one card for the Five of Wands? Let us uh, take a sneak peek into the path, please, into the path of the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, we have the Hermit in reverse. There you are. We talked about the Hermit, even though we didn't see it earlier. I talked about you coming out of that, that Hermit shell, and it is in reverse, saying, okay, maybe you've been on the path uh, of a little bit of isolation or loneliness, and I feel like you're opening up to a new way of doing something and connecting, calling in new tribe, right? Birds of a feather, new partnerships, new love, but it's in you're ready because you've been doing the healing, you've been doing the work. And if you have emotionally shut yourself down, the queen of cups is saying, okay, I'm putting myself out there in some way. I am going to connect to life again, to love again, to family, to groups, to community, to friendships. So I like that you're coming out of the hermit shell here and it may feel a little chaotic as you step into this threshold of, you know, someplace you haven't been for quite some time, but I actually feel like it's going to be very good for you. All right, let's get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle building blocks. You know, a lot of signs have been getting building blocks here. So it's also card 28, 
which is a 10 and October is a 10 month, which is also a one. And ones are all about new beginnings. So I feel like not necessarily is there a brand new beginning coming in, but you are, you're strengthening the foundation that you've built for yourself thus far. And you may be addressing the cracks as this card mentions. This is about strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. And it says, when you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones that you already have by building them on the foundation of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to get to know each other. You are moving toward laying the groundwork for a relationship with a firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long lasting relationships are also repaired and strengthened. You and the other person could be stronger, wiser, and more powerful together. Or you're making a judgment call here to really address the cracks in the foundation, right? Maybe someone's values have changed. It could be strength. It could be time to strengthen convictions and let go of people, places, or things that no longer serve the vision of your life that you have for yourself. Perhaps you've chose to ignore the signs, a situation or agreement that you've entered into are showing you. Remove the rotten pieces and reinforce your core moral strength and integrity. And that's what that queen of cups does, right? And that's what the hermit does. And you have both of those in your energy. Now is the time for rigorous honesty. That's why you have the page of swords. Page of swords in reverse, they're not honest, right? Uh, it could be someone hasn't been honest with you or maybe you haven't been honest with yourself about what's truly best for your, your yourself, your values. Does it align with you? Now is the time for rigorous honesty, for you are called to renovate and upgrade your consciousness. You will be so happy when you do. Spirit has a spectacular blueprint for your life far beyond your imagination. Don't be afraid to replace what's not solid. I'm loving that for you. Yeah, don't be afraid to replace what's not solid. And that's why you're coming up to this judgment energy. All right. Pisces, let's get a few messages here from your crystal spirit guides. And at this time, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes if you're able to do so safely. Take a nice deep inhale from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. Hold it as long as you can and release through the mouth with a nice big sigh. And with your eyes still closed, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first crystal or gemstone that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this could be a crystal that you're familiar with, maybe even know the name of. It could be emitting beautiful colors and hues of greens, orange, purple, pink, blue, or yellow. Maybe your crystal is a specific shape or size. Maybe it's heart-shaped. It could have clusters or points. Maybe it's polished or in its rawest form. It could be small or large, or maybe you don't even know the name of the crystal, but you feel the energies emitting that of unconditional love, compassion, strength, or even clarity. And if you need a moment, Pisces, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your crystal in 
the comment section below, whether it's the name of the crystal, the shape, the size, the color, the feeling, whatever was showing up in your mind's eye, drop that in the comment section below the video and I will enter you into that free reading giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of the month and post right back here on the channel. All right, beautiful. We have card one, which we just talked about, that one energy breaking down, 28 is a one. You have... I believe it's pronounced Adrienne. Adrienne, this is one that I'm not too familiar with, but it has to do with integrity, solidarity, impeccability, reliability, and consistency. Those are all words that kind of tie with the Page of Swords lessons, right? So some of you, those are areas that have really been tested. Boundaries have really been pushed potentially in those areas. Do you struggle with trusting others? You need to trust yourself first. Adrienne's spirit is calling you to be confident for you deserve to trust yourself, trust the universe and be true to you. Your strength and integrity will inspire others to show up as a strong and reliable too. So be impeccable with your words. Consistently assert the values you hold dear and your right to be your unique self. For there can be no well-being when you are denying your own truth. Be a beacon of integrity and you will draw to you others who reflect, who mirror. That's why you have the mirror energy showing up. So if you are attracting individuals who may be untrustworthy or dishonest, just be mindful that each and every person holds up something deep within us. And I feel like if you are, you are aware now of what you did not know then, right? You have more wisdom. You've gained a lot through what you've gone through. Adrienne helps pull us out of our emotions and place us firmly in the well of our strength, which is interesting because you're showing up as an emotional powerhouse here. But sometimes, Pisces, those emotions can get the best of any of us, especially you as a water sign. But if you struggle with that at times, if you meditate with this stone, it can assist us in showing us how far we've come on our journey. It encourages us to embody all we have learned and to reclaim our power. Yes, can give you a little extra boost of strength when you need it. I'm liking that. It's also card one, which is manifestation. It's the magician. It's the first actual number, you know, of the, the major arcana. And last but not least, from your guides, ancestors, I almost said Winchester. Maybe some of you have a Winchester or that's someone's grandpa's name. Take it as it resonates. Uh, we have here, you are what you believe. You are what you believe. Pisces, words hold power and divine magic. They do. That's why it's called spelling, right? Words are powerful. They hold energy. What you think you become your outside world is a reflection, there's the mirror, of your inner thoughts. Be mindful of your thoughts and the words that you speak because everything is being mirrored to you right now. And we are in the midst of eclipse energy. So I also feel like there's going to be things that show up that it almost feels like it's... If you've ever had a phone or a mirror and the sun hits it just right and it really brings off that, that light, right? You turn the angle and it just hits at the right spot and it brights everything up. I feel like that's what's happening to some sort of information or something that you needed to learn, a valuable learning opportunity or you know something you weren't seen prior or weren't able to see, this the mirror is being held up and it's gonna be bright. You're gonna hit that light just right and I feel like it's going to give you important information about either a situation or some insight that was missing here. Whatever this is, it's gonna allow you to really come out of some sort of imbalance or obstacle or change, right? It's going to help you embrace this change instead of resist it, right? The path of least resistance is the outcome here. And I feel like the hermit is saying, you're not meant to do something alone or go it alone. 
the next leg of the journey. You were potentially meant to go it alone at one point or another, but I just feel, I mean, some of you, it's the opposite. Some of you, this is meant to break away and go alone in a new direction. So just take it as it resonates. But I feel like whatever was holding you back, whatever was causing that resistance, whatever was quite literally on your back here with the 10 of wands, right? He has a whole darn house on top of him and it's heavy. I feel like you are embarking upon some really beautiful transformations because you've come so far. So heed the call. Expect some sort of communication, download, or message with the call and the judgment card coming in. That is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this resonates. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. And do drop your crystals in the comment section below the video. And thank you so very much for tuning in. Happy October.